Saturday, July 30th is today, the day I finally get to turn this thing on in front of all of you. This is the Supermicro SYS E300 8D. Now, a couple of things, comments. I already tested this one, a 10 gig uh, switch earlier today, and I set things up so that this microphone is 12 inches from this line, center line, and, and uh, the front edge of that bezel. All right, we got a little stopwatch going. We got a power strip that's going to show us watts. Power strip is turned off. I'm now plugging in the DC power supply for the first time and I am ready. So I'm going to start with quiet. You need to see a baseline of what this ambient, what the ambient noise is in the room I'm in. Seems to be on average about 35.1. These numbers do not match despite their proximity. Even if I put the microphone right here, the iPhone 5 here and the app it's running, uh, it will not show the same dB number. More important is kind of the spectrum the shape. So here we go. First, I'm going to turn the power strip. Then I'm going to turn on watts. Okay, so we now have a watts display. And now it's time to turn on the server. I don't have video attached. I didn't want to put a monitor nearby or change anything. When the post, when the BIOS is done booting, then it should settle down for speed. All right, it took about two minutes to settle down to 44. Now for the back side of the server. Here we look around back, same ambient noise in the room, and everything's turned off. It's time to go ahead and turn the server on. All right, that concludes this particular server test. Let's move on to the next one. It's even smaller. Time to plug this in for the very first time. LED light on here turned green. We can now see the idle watt burn here. And I'm gonna hit the start button and stopwatch when I power it on. Here we go. Okay, there's a reboot in the middle there. Uh, for whatever reason, the BIOS failed or because it found a drive, it decided to reconfigure itself and reboot. Not really sure, since they didn't have video going or anything attached to know. That's okay, we're really just focused on a sound test. And it seems very similar to the other server. Now it's time to go around the back. Okay, all done with that server. Now for super server owners, the first one, the model that's a mini tower form factor, the SYS 5028D-TM4T. 
that one is next. So let me go grab that and put it in place. So check it out. So here I am with the original SYS 502AD-TN14, the mini tower form factor. Now, a couple things to note. There's no spinning drives. There's nothing other than caddies inserted into the 3.5 inch bays in the front. Okay, you're seeing about nine watts on standby without any ethernet adapters attached. Time to fire it up. Forgot to take ESXi boot media out there. Okay, with the stock fans, it is a very quiet device with the default IPMI settings. For the IPMI I just applied recently, featured in one of my videos, 3.31. And now to turn it on. Okay, that's it. The end of my comparison of the three Xeon D-based systems. And I was in the order of least powerful processor to medium, which is actually the smaller server, finally to the large box. And if we think about that recycle in that one server, it was most likely just finding RAM and rebooting itself. That's pretty normal. That's a wrap for today, Saturday. I'm gonna go get these videos published to YouTube. And then I'm headed out on a long overdue date with my super understanding and very patient wife. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And thanks for visiting tinkertry.com. If you do decide to purchase one of these super servers, the URL for you would be tinkertry.com forward slash super servers. If you use those affiliate links, there is a small commission paid to tinkertry.com to help me do more videos like this. Thanks again. Bye now.